hey lovelies welcome back to another video hope you all are doing well as always i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day over here i have my clean and my sterilized jar in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make your super duper effective hair growth oil to stop your hair from badness thin hair line and to make your hair to grow really really healthy and fast the first thing i will need i will need three tablespoons Put of my black seed. Black seed is rich in a lot of nutrients which stimulate your scalp, stop your hair from split and condition your hair and make your hair to grow really really healthy from your scalp. Then right now I will go in with two tablespoons of my fenugreek seed. Fenugreek seed stimulates your scalp, condition your hair as well, stop any scalp irritation and make your hair to grow really really healthy from your scalp. I will just pour in my seed into my jar as you can see then my next ingredient will be my glove glove has so many amazing nutrients which promote air growth stop your air from falling stop your air from shedding and also to condition your air and make your air to grow healthy as well from your scalp applying glove oil on your air regular really really promote a lot of Air growth. Then right now, I will go in with 100 ml of my sweet almond oil. You can use grape seed oil, sunflower oil, and soya bean oil. So right now, I will just pour in my oil into my jar. Then my next ingredient will be my amla oil. I will go in with one tablespoon of my amla oil lovelies any oil you have just applied okay then after i applied my amla oil i will go in with one tablespoon of my castor oil castor oil dark is strengthening and make your hair to grow really really thick and healthy from your scalp i will just pour in my castor oil into my jar as you can see then right now i will go in with one tablespoon of my extra virgin olive oil this oil moisturizes your hair add shine to your hair and also condition your hair really really well then right now i will go in with one tablespoon of my grape seed oil this oil penetrates into your hair really really well softening and condition your hair and make your hair to grow really really healthy from your scalp then right now i will go in with my vitamin e oil to act as antioxidant and also to strengthen and replenish your hair cuticles i'm going to apply my oil then right now i will go in with my essential oil starting with my tea tree essential oil i'm going to apply five drop each of my essential oils lovely any oil you have just applied then right now i will go in with my meat essential oil then i will go in with my lavender essential oil as you can see me doing Then the last but not the least, I'm going to apply five drops of my Calyptox Essential Oil. Then after I applied my oil, I am going to stir everything together. Lovelies, please don't contaminate your oils, okay? Stir, use a clean and sterilized tool when making your DIY oil. So lovelies, after stirring, I am going to cover it up as you can see me doing. Please lovelies, for the next phase, I will urge you all to cover it really, really well, okay? Cover your oil really, really well before you proceed to the next phase. Then right now, I will go in with this, my empty bowl. Then I will go in with my mat of my boiling water which i will just pour into my bowl as you can see me doing the after i applied my boiling water you can do yours directly from your flame okay but i love this method more that i am going to apply my oil into my boiling water this is why i say you should make sure you cover it up because you don't want any water to go into your oil then i will allow it to eat up for 40 minutes so lovelies after 40 minutes look at how my oil is looking so i'm going to take out my oil out of the water i'm going to clean the 
the water the heat out of the oil that i'm going to keep my oil in a cool dry place to allow it to sit for warm month you can leave yours from one week to one month but i love to leave mine for one month on a row okay because i want all the seeds to bring out its nutrient into the oil because if you can allow yours to sit the longer time trust me or you are going to see an amazing result when you eventually allow it to sit and when you eventually use it so i will urge you all allow it to sit for one month so lovelies here is one month later how time fly guys this smell like the scent of this oil is amazing this oil can be used on a multiple way if you want to make your diy butter this oil can act as a fragrance to your butter i am telling you all because the smell the smell is so amazing and the longer you allow it to sit the more nutrients you will achieve and the more the, the fragrance become intense so right now i'm going to stir everything together the after stirring i will go in with this my filter and my little bone i will just pour in the oil into my filter to strain out the oil out of the seed you can use your stock but please make sure you use clean equipment clean tools when making your oil oh yeah. look at the, the, the lovely color and the smell is amazing and lovely is super duper effective on your scalp and your hair so here is the amount of oil oh yeah i got from the old ingredient the right now i will go in with my clean and sterilized pressing bottle then i'm going to transfer my oil oh yeah into it as you can see me doing So lovelies, I am going to cover it up. Here is how you can make a simple and effective air growth oil to stop your air from falling, fight against split end, condition your air, moisturize your air, and also to promote your air growth really, really fast. Can be used as pre pull up oil treatment to seal in your moisture and also can be used as a fragrance for your DIY oil. Use twice weekly for amazing result so lovely this year is my air i have been rocking my air as a braid out for the past one week so today i want to moisturize my air okay guys my air is growing and your girl is so happy yay <laughs> So lovely, here is my oil. I'm going to apply the oil from the tip of my hair to the root of my scalp. But what I will use to damp my hair first of all, I will use my DIY ginger juice leaf in treatment. I'm going to put the link down below. Lovely please i beg you all i urge you all to try this leave-in treatment it's amazing like if you try this you will never use only water again on your hair this ginger juice leave-in treatment is amazingly effective on your hair i am telling you all is a must try guys i'm doing kind of advert right now okay <laughs> so i'm going to apply the water the juice into every part of my hair into my scalp the right now i am going to massage the juice into every part of my hair and my scalp lovelies please take your time to massage your hair is extremely fundamental so lovelies after i massage the leave into my hair right now i will go in with my diy air growth oil secret air growth oil i will use my the tip of my hands to just apply it into my scalp as you can see me doing because you want to treat your scalp first of all before you walk through into the main of the o of your hair anywhere you're having breakage shedding like anywhere you're having like irritation apply the 
this oil a massage really really well as you can see me doing and don't forget to apply the oil into your hair because it will straighten your hair it will condition your hair and also it will stop your hair from breaking and also from split hair so right now i am going to massage oil yeah, into every part of my hair lovelies i urge you all to try and always massage your hair it's going to help you a lot massage your scalp it will add it will enable blood to flow into your scalp and that's where the hair growth begins to manifest to seal in the moisture i will go in with my diy ginger hair growth butter this butter is amazingly great on the air i am telling you all to seal in the moisture but if you don't have this butter you can use any butter of your choice like shea butter uh, cacao anyone you have just apply but i'm going to put the link down below in case you want to see how i make mine and also if you don't have the ginger juice you can use water to damp your hair okay before you apply the the oil so right now i'm going to seal in the moisture with the air growth butter then to, to formalize the whole process i will go in again with my diy ginger juice living treatment i'm going to apply some amount into my edges because that's where i am trying to grow like this here this edges must spring forth and this oil can be used twice weekly and you're going to see amazing results when you apply this oil on a regular based on your hair use twice weekly on your airline or your hair on your crown anywhere you're having issue you are going to love it i know i've talked too much so lovely here is how my hair is looking this will last for another four to five days before i will shampoo or before i will treat my hair again so lovely with this we come so the end of today's video if you like it please give your girl a huge thumbs up leave me any questions down below and thank you all for watching until i will see you all in the next one i'm just feeling myself like no man's business <laughs> remain blessed i know what peace bye bye i love you all